A Reynoldsburg family is mourning the death of their beloved dog after he was picked up by complete strangers following a routine grooming appointment. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us for NBC4 at 6. I'm Colleen Marshall. And I'm Kerry Charles. That family is now demanding accountability for the people responsible. NBC4's Jamie Ostroff joins us now with their story. A story, I should warn you, is extremely upsetting. Salamawit Tawalde dropped her beagle Awet off at the groomer on Tuesday. She says that was the last time she saw him alive. <laughs> this is how Salamawit Tawalde remembers Awet. He's a smart dog, brave, loyal. He's like, he's a family. He, we loved him with all of our heart. That's the dog she dropped off for a grooming appointment Tuesday at the PetSmart on Taylor Park Drive in Reynoldsburg. I get a call telling me he will be ready in 20 minutes. I go there and they tell me, PetSmart groomers tell me they gave my dog away. He's already picked up. Tawalde and her cousin filed a police report and used social media to look for Awet. On there it said, big old spotter running along touching road. I tried to catch it but he, he, he ran. This post led to Walde back to Awet, more than two miles from the PetSmart on the side of the road. My dog was laying on the floor. <laughs> My dog was on the floor laying down. Awet was hurt. He didn't survive. This has been a very traumatic event for me. I just, there's no word to describe this. There's like literally no word at all. According to Reynoldsburg police, these are the people who picked Awet up from the groomer. Detectives are asking for the public's help in finding them. Meanwhile, Tawalde wants to know how PetSmart employees allowed this to happen. No, they have to do way better. They have to do way better. I wouldn't be here. Speaking to you guys, I would have been at home with my dog if they did not give my dog to the wrong people. In a statement, PetSmart said it is working with law enforcement and providing support to Awet's family. Tawaldi said all she has gotten from PetSmart is an apology. I asked PetSmart about their pickup policy and what they are doing to make sure something like this does not happen to anyone else. The corporate spokesperson told me she couldn't comment on that. Carrie. A lot of questions. Jamie, thanks.